Hi, and welcome to Rose Red Homestead Micro Moment Monday, where today we are going to see how our vinegar is doing, our fallen apple vinegar, and maybe if the acidity is right, we will be uh, bottling it. Before we get started on our vinegar, I do have to make one error correction. In our last video where I was talking about the seven canned goods with high nutrient density, I made an error when I talked about the um, artichoke and what nutrients they have. I mentioned that they produce insulin. Well, duh, that's not true. I just was, I misread my notes and two or three of you brought that to my attention and I really do appreciate it. What artichokes really do have is inulin, and that is a fiber. They're really good with inulin, which is a fiber, and that's what gives them their boost for um, nutrient density. So now, on with our vinegar. So here we go. It has now been a, a full four weeks since we started these um, two jars of fallen apple vinegar. And um, for the last two weeks, these have been in a dark cupboard so that the alcohol can turn into acetic acid um, by the bacteria. So let's take a smell. Oh, it smells like vinegar. There is no alcohol smell. First, let's do our pH testing. And uh, I'm hoping that we can get it to about 3.0, a pH of 3.0, but let's see. Oh my gosh, I think we did it. This is a 3.0. This is a 2.5. It fits right here, don't you think, Jim? Go back to your 2.5. 2.5, it's not orange enough. Okay. And so right here? Right there. It's, it's a perfect be. match. It's a 3.0. Woohoo! We made it. Okay, I'm going to taste it. Just a tad. Oh my goodness. It's tangy. It's acidy. I can taste the apple. It's fantastic. Yay, I made vinegar first time. So this is very exciting. Now here's what, um, here's what I'm gonna do. Because when I strained the apples out, I used a colander with quite big holes. I am going to strain it one more time. Next time I won't do that. Next time when I strain the fruit out, I will use a strainer like this so I don't have to strain it again. And I'm just trying to catch any larger chunks that may still be in there. Uh, this mesh is fine enough that it will still let the mother go through because I do want to have the mother. So it looks like I had some little applesauce stuff at the bottom. I'm going to rinse my spoon. There's still plenty of mother in that vinegar. And next time I'll get this stuff out when I do the first and only straining. At least I hope that's what I'm doing. Being new at this, sometimes I question myself. What I want to do is to put some in this fancy jar that I have already labeled fallen apple vinegar. I'm not sure that all of it will fit, but let's just give it a try. Close, but we have just a little bit left over. So this is our fallen apple vinegar, and it is done. So I'm gonna put the cork in and close the lid. Once um, the bacteria have turned the alcohol into acetic acid and it is vinegar, then we don't want to expose it to oxygen. 
And so this goes right in my cupboard to use as I would use any vinegar, except not for canning. Uh, for canning, it should be about 2.0 and it needs to be standardized. It needs to be commercial vinegar when you do canning. But this will be good for salad dressings. It'll be good for rinsing my hair. It'll be good to do with anything I want to use regular vinegar for. Well, I am really excited about this. Now, I'm only going to do one for the cupboard. Um, the other, I'm going to use what's a little bit that's left here and everything that is in this one, and it is going to go into this jar and back in the dark cupboard because I want to see if I can form um, an, an actual um, floating mass that is the mother. So I have rinsed the strainer. Oh, we need to do the pH of this one as well and I need to taste it. What do you think? I think it's more of a 3.5 rather than a 3.0. It's not quite orange enough no, to be a... Quite orange enough. So this one is 3.5, but and that's okay. I'm going to combine it with this one, and maybe it will go down some. So I'm going to taste this. Wow. It has a sharper taste than the other one does even though the acidity is not quite as high. Ooh. A little bit of a bite on the back of my throat. All right, we're going to do the same thing with this, and then I'm going to keep it in this jar. Get the applesauce out of it. Yeah, this I think is apple stuff and not the mother. There certainly is mother in here. Now, I am going to continue to let oxygen into this jar just in case there is any more alcohol that needs to be converted to acetic acid. And this is going to sit in my dark cupboard for as long as it takes to develop that floating mass of mother so that we can then start using it as part of our vinegar making um, efforts. And uh, I'm very excited. I, I know already which is the vinegar that I'm going to try next, and I'm going to do it all in one video. So it will take probably a month to get all three pieces done, but I'm going to do it all in one now that we know the, the procedure a little bit better. So I'm very happy with this experiment so far. And so I have one that's going to go in my pantry and one that's going to go over in the dark cupboard and continue to uh, develop, and then we will check in on it every once in a while and when it has developed that floating mass of the mother I will bring you back and show it to you so that uh, to let you know that we have been successful if indeed we are. So thank you for staying along with me on this three-part journey of having my very first experience making vinegar. I'm so grateful that it was a success and I hope it encourages you if you have not tried it yet to try vinegar. It really is a kick in the pants to do it. I have really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for being a part of our community. Um, share your ideas on this. Let me know if I've made an error. And we will see you very soon at our next video.